I got a size 10 hook. Put that in. Even if I turn this sideways, I help a little bit. So I got my hooking device. I could have thrown it my bobber already. Yeah. There we go. All right, so basically what I do is put down a thread base about to, about to the hook, right? About to the point of the hook and come back with a couple of wraps. You basically just wanna put enough thread so when you go to glue the cart down, it'll, it'll stay in place. But if you don't, man, bluegills, you're only going to catch one or two bluegills where they just totally destroyed this thing. All right, so see, I got my thread base. All right, so I'm going to whip finish it. And I am by no means saying this is the best way to do it because it's just my way. What we're going for, we're going for something that's going to look like that, right? Now you see, I tell you that, that it's right on tie of the hook. How are you going to hook anything? Well, my poppers, I like the hook to be right at the popper, right? Because the bluegill usually sucks the popper in. Uh -oh. And so what I usually do is bend the hook down just a little bit, just do a little angle so I can hook them. Works pretty well for me. So now we got that. Look at look at the honeybee. The honeybee loves it. Alright, so let me get a piece of foam. Alright, so got a piece of foam right here. I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna cut a little bit off. There we go. Now, what I usually take is the little punch tool. Or I'm not sure what this tool is designed for. I think it's designed for separating the hackles, the uh, feathers. But anyway, I use it for a punch. So when you go to punch these, you don't want to punch it right in the middle. You want to punch it kind of, kind of at the the top or bottom, but you want it to be pretty much even going across. Cause what you want see how most of the carts up top and the and the, and the bottom you want the hook like that so that way the hooks at the bottom and not in the middle because you do it in the middle the hook points gonna come right up to the cart if that makes sense all right then i'm gonna pull it off i got my hole and i found best if you twist it you get a few little twists and push it back push it back to the uh, hook right so she's on now I'm gonna take her super glue don't have to put a lot put just a little super glue on that thread right there just like that and you gotta hurry up and push it far don't crowd the hook don't crowd the hook eye leave, leave the hook eye exposed make sure it's kind of tilted right that's pretty much it. Then you just let it dry. And you got your exposed shaft back here for tying your feathers on. Very easy and very effective for holding the cart. That way it doesn't spin. Then basically just gonna let that dry. I did a video uh, a couple weeks ago on the uh, the EVA foam. Well, I painted a few of them and that foam paints very nicely. Very, very, very nicely. So, I'm gonna get one out here. So I got that in right here. You can see that in, it started raining that day and I started uh, uh, hurrying up. So I kinda of wonked that nut, but it'll still be good. So we're gonna put it on the vise. 
I like chartreuse. Take my, take my paint, take my brush. I use just a little cheap paintbrush. Nothing fancy. I like making my own poppers, but I buy a lot of stuff from the stores too because I try to support the industry here in Louisiana. Uh, um, Bass Pro start out with a bunch of fly gear, and then just just here about really just got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, I went to the Bass Pro in Katy, Texas, when I was visiting Spring, Texas. I mean, it's huge. So, take a little paint. Yeah, I'm just gonna dab some on. I usually put about one or two coats on here. So you you don't have to be really thorough. You're just trying to put down the base coat. The thing about the 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 fight the vases that turn is you can turn it. Captain Obvious, huh? And you can paint the back of it if you want to. So that EVA foam holds holds that uh, acrylic paint pretty good. So I'm gonna let this dry. Then put on a second coat. Then what I used to do is take like the yellow and do the yellow on the bottom, make it look like a little yellow belly. Puts like some little eyes on it. And there you go, brother. I mean, you got some, you got some very nice little uh, popper heads. Easy to make, easy, easy to tie, easy to paint. Now I like doing this. I like just making my own. I mean. It's probably easy to just go out and buy them, but I enjoy making my own because I ain't gonna lie, man. It's a certain thrill to hook a fish and reel them in on something that you made with your hand. So I think that's the whole point of it because you definitely don't tie your own flies to save money. So that's pretty, pretty much it. Let that dry, then I'll uh, tie some more. I got the itching to go fishing, man, but just that cold front we came through. I saw Texas coastline, man, just had thousands and thousands of uh, sand trout and speckled trout and redfish and all that die because of the weather. The, the cold front, man, they got them before they get out in deep water. I hope that didn't happen here in Louisiana. I haven't read many reports on it. I know me, man. I've been out on that beach filling up ice chests because them fish weren't rotten. Them, that water was ice cold. Mm. Next video, I'll show you how to how I tie feathers on them and go ahead and finish them up. So I'm gonna sit outside, enjoy my pipe, enjoy this beautiful day. Y'all take care and stay safe.